So next we're going to look at naming esters, and this is one of the more common ones for you to see in some context. And uh, when we name esters, we always name them two words, and one of those words is based on the carboxylate your ester is derived from, and the other word is just the alkyl substituent on the other side of your oxygen here uh, of the ester. So the carboxyl side is looked at as the parent chain, and it's always going to be, uh, your ester is always going to be anchored to that parent chain. So there's one, two, three, four. And then the other side is looked at as a substituent, and it becomes the first word. So that's simply an ethyl group, and that's why that's the first word. Now, the second word is just the entire name of this carboxylate. And the carboxylate's name is similar to the corresponding carboxylic acid. So if you notice, if we had this carboxylic acid right here, you learned uh, numbering it, one, two, three, four. You've got a methyl group attached to carbon three, and you'd call this three methyl butanoic acid. Now on the other hand, and let's just take off that H and we'll make it the corresponding carboxylate. So carboxylate meaning uh, conjugate base. And so for the name, as a result, you get rid of the word acid, you take off the ick, so, and you replace it with an eight. And so this becomes 3-methylbutanoate uh, as that conjugate base. And that's your entire second word of the ester that carboxylates derive from. So uh, in this case, again, two words, ethyl 3-methylbutanoate.